hi nipa theory viewers today we going to see some interesting topics related with ads uh, normally uh, we are seeing uh, the ads in the website this is for revenue sharing uh, we can get some revenue through displaying some ads in our website so some person have some doubts how to display the ads in our website in dynamic way that means it's rotated uh, with some 10 seconds 20 seconds or some 30 seconds like this let me see how it's uh, do in asp.net i'm just uh, drag and dropping the ad rotator control in the toolbox which is predefined i will show you in the design part in design it will be display as some empty image because it actually whatever the file we going to add that means the images we going to add it is displayed in random way the ad normally it's contain uh, some advertisement file advertisement file is content of some url image or something text okay uh, it, the mix of these things only the advertisement file so uh, we need to create one advertisement file here i am going to use that dot xml file uh, to link this as a advertisement file i am just creating one advertisement file i am just uh, check it out that xml you just know how to add new xml if you have any doubt in this basic things you just go through our xml videos and and tutorials in in tutorials topics okay i am just renaming this xml to add file so that we can easily get what the things is going on here okay this is the xml file uh, page here we going to add some tags related with xml to link this ad okay i have already uh, some tags uh, which is predefined i am just added here to reduce the time this is a simple thing uh, you can easily understand here i am giving the tag something advertisement in that advertisement i am creating one tag called ad in that tag i am just pausing image url navigation url and alternative text and impression and keyboard let me see one by one i am just adding one image url because we need to display the ad in the image format which is in front side so we are going to do this as follows ok guys next we see how to add the navigation url navigation url is nothing but whatever that image if you mouse over or you just click this image it will read out to some other page that is add page this is called navigation url next is alternative test alternative test is nothing but if that image is not found it will display the text words we given in that alternative text so this is a useful one instead of uh, displaying no images or something else we going to display some image i am giving something image not found click here or you can give it by add it through text also like something google ads click googles like that you can give then next is impression impression is nothing but we given the preference how how length how much length it won't uh, it's displayed in the website normally it will take some um uh, one second two seconds like that no impression it will gives that particular thing in before that means uh, where for example i am just adding three more uh, advertisement images um, advertisement content i am giving the impression as a uh, 10 20 30 it will prefers that 30 because that is the highest thing it will show first that ad and next second impression ads and third uh, impression ads because um the impression is used to give more frequently we going to display okay this is a simple thing in real time you can easily understand i will show you the demo also here if i make any confusion ok 
okay i'm just to copy and paste it uh, the navigation url uh, because uh, here i'm just to renaming some three different uh, links to identify you get what the things going on here i'm just giving some three different that is google i'm using blogger and youtube i'm just linking with images on the link let me see how it works i'm just copying this text and pasting over here this is for our reference we need to add these things for basic things to display the ads then later videos i will show you how to get the ads from the database that is also interesting topics so please continue watching our videos okay now uh, i created that xml content file so i am adding the link add file.xml i am just saving all these things and i am just running this application you can found the things which we added into the xml as add format you can uh, fix that uh, way height and width also in using css if you want if you want to know that what are the things going on css or want to learn css you just go through our videos you can easily get this okay now i am simply adding only the add rotator so it's uh, displaying it's not in a right format or it's not uh, looking good so please adjust understand the workflow here this is useful for you to create some ads want to display by your bone no need to get any ideas from others or something it's a easy thing you can do it okay now it's displaying here i given the impression youtube as 30 so it's displaying in front that i will show you here yes this impression i given 30 youtube so it's displaying in front okay and just reloading you can see the lot of variation in this image rotation uh, because uh, it will take some uh, 10 one, 10 seconds to display the next ad so it's, it's delaying so i am just reloading this application randomly displaying this kind of ads okay you can easily understand right this is makes good this is the simplest form of adding this ads to the websites okay it's linking i am just clicking that ad that means that images we are displayed here i am just clicking it's redirecting everything is fine here These are the properties attribute you can use the things events also handled by this later videos i will show you some event handled by the ad rotator at all the basic things that you need to know and next things here is i am adding one attribute called target blank target blank is used to display what are the links that website in a new tab this is a simple thing if you have any doubt about target also i shown you some videos you can just go through that videos i'm just clicking this it's opening a new tab this is a simple thing okay this is for our reference because i no need to navigate into the same site yes next we're going to see keyword filter keyword filter is one thing uh, here we given the keyword right i am not mentioned previously uh, here for keyword filters if you given some common keywords some two or three ads if you provide the keyword it filter according to the keywords and display only that particular ads let me see how it works i am just reloading okay you can see this difference that google image is not displaying because that is not in the category of the keyword ad1 now i am just removing this filter and i am just reloading the application one second 
yes how it's working now yes google youtube blogger youtube it's displaying okay these are the basic things you need to know for for displaying the dynamic ads in the website it's a simple thing you can learn easily if you have any doubt you just comment out i will reply it the things okay likewise we can add this ad rotator to display the ads in dynamic manner thanks for watching guys please subscribe and encourage us for more videos